Hi, it's Steph Mischuk. I've been a big advocate of using WordPress for many years now, and I've been also a big advocate of web designers and web programmers, well, independent web programmers, learning how to work with WordPress as well, because so many small businesses use WordPress. But there's a dark side to using WordPress, and that is the fact that WordPress has a lot of holes in it, and it is a common target for hackers. We actually just got hit recently at KillerSites.com on our blog. We got hit with a hacker who had uh, uploaded some sort of script uh, that basically rewrote our HT access files. And what happened was when anybody would hit Killer Sites and even not just our blog, but the main site itself with a mobile device. So if they came to our site with a mobile device, an Android, iPad, iPhone, they were redirected to some Russian site. Uh, it's been a few days since we've uh, addressed this issue, since we, since we repaired this hack. Uh, I think we've gotten it because it seems to be uh, finished now. And what it, I think the cause was, the reason they were able to get in is because WordPress, and this is just a guess, uh, we're not exactly sure, but I believe it's because WordPress was not up to date. We had WordPress 3.6 and 3.8 had come out, and I believe, I'm guessing they came in through some sort of security weakness that was present in 3.6. So the lesson to take away from that is update your WordPress often. As soon as they, need, they come out with a fix, update it. The good thing, though, now is that WordPress is really easy to update compared to what it was before. Let me show you. So I've logged into the Killer Sites WordPress dashboard, and what you want to do is you want to go to the updates, and you want to make sure your uh, WordPress is up to date. At this time, uh, 3.8 of WordPress is the latest version, and so I, shouldn't, I don't have to update that. But you can just down you can download it where you would then manually add it to your server just in case the the reinstall now the automated download install and install doesn't work. That's a great thing about the current versions of WordPress. It's much easier to install. I found for a while now the automatic update and install worked fantastically. So in terms of dealing with a hacked WordPress site, one of the things you have to make sure that you do do is have your, well, first of all, your latest WordPress installed. Make sure that you updated all your plugins and also be sure to keep uh, your plugins um, minimal, meaning don't install too many plugins uh, in WordPress unless you need to. And another thing you should do is you should clean up your themes directory. If you go to themes, appearance themes, we used to have a bunch of themes in here, all the default themes that came with WordPress, and we experimented with other themes. But the uh, the best situation actually is just to uh, to just keep the one theme that you are working with and get rid of the others because uh, an improperly written theme can also be the source of the hackers, uh, well, of your WordPress's vulnerability. So the final question I want to address is that should you be using WordPress for your business site given how, how many holes that WordPress tends to have? For me, I think that using a third-party hosting site like a WordPress.com and have a subdomain is probably not the best strategy when it comes to uh, uh, creating a business site. Yes, WordPress installations can be buggy, um, excuse me, they can have uh, security holes, but I still think it's worth developing your own website, especially if you're creating a small business. So yes, I would still have a WordPress-based site. You just have to make sure everything is up to date. The other option, if you're just looking to create a business site, uh, you don't have to use WordPress, of course. You can uh, just create static sites or use another CMS like Joomla or Drupal, although those um, I'm not, I know they're not as uh, vulnerable to attack because they're just not as popular. That's a big part of it. You know, it's kind of like Windows and Mac. 
Mac, there's hardly any viruses out there simply because, uh, well, partly because there's just not as many Macs floating around, so they're not as juicy a target. But also uh, with Mac OS, you have a much more, um, it's a harder nut to crack in terms of uh, security. Not that it's impossible, but it is harder to do than Windows. Anyway, that's it.